Let me get that out the way. I can't see. Tap, 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 tap. That a bit. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. I'm losing my mind. Tap, tap. No! I clicked off. I think I clicked off. I have the wrong page open. Ha ha! Get the wrong page open. Can, uh... There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> I am out here struggling. We struggling today. Alrighty, alrighty. Last time we finished the palace. And this time we're gonna go hang out with a bunch of friends. And totally not deal with any consequences of our actions. Absolutely not. No consequences. Zero. Never consequences. Uh, we are gonna go get a massage. Because we are tired, because we just had... We just did the palace. Uh, do we have any messages? We do not. It is okay, because I know who we're going to go see anyway. <coughs> Apologies, did not mean to cough. Uh. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you not here? Where the hell is he? Where's his ass this time? Nope. Nope. How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Where the hell is Mishima? Spoilers, that's the moron we're here to talk to today. I believe in you. Is he here? No, that's not where I meant to go. This is the book. This is the bookstore. I didn't mean to go to the bookstore. I meant to go here. Ah, there he is, the ass. Found him. Found Mishima. It. This just in. Mishima is the electronic store clerk. Who would have thunk it? Take your time. Now, I need I need someone to explain to me <laughs> why I couldn't talk to freaking Mishima. I need someone to explain to me. <laughs> explain it like I'm five, because I have no idea what the game was like. No, you can't talk to him. Let's try this again. This is so amazing. The Phantom Thieves fever has run rampant. The fan site's blowing up. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, so I've been researching that actor, and I came across some substantial new info. Are you free to hear what I found? No, because I don't want to do it. Ooh. I feel like my bond with Mishima will grow stronger soon, but... We've never seen that but before. 
So what do you do? Are you meeting up with Mishima? Oh, yeah. Hang out with him. All right. Thanks. Let's head to the diner then. Um. Uh, heads up. Only the first two count. The rest of them don't matter. <clears throat> so you know that actor I suggested is your next target? Apparently he's marrying the idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage, though. People used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Who is this we? You're the crazy one. Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. Sweet and manly. <laughs> Sounds like... <laughs> Sounds like McDonald's new sauce. Sweet and manly. You're so reliable. I hate stroking his ego. <laughs> I guess. I mean, this is my job. I'm your producer, remember? Actually. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we got to do more than just answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So, we're gonna purge them. It. Thanks, fucking excuse me. Sounds pretty twisted. <laughs> no, you really need to chill, is what I want to say. No, no. Oh, don't worry. I'm not actually planning on hurting anyone. The truth is, I looked up some of these idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages, my guy. Chill the fuck out. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They totally stopped dissing the pea thieves. I don't want to be a pea thief. Hold up. There's still some people who say that they don't believe, but deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't this great? Plus, now that the, all those haters are gone, people are putting a, much, a bunch more info on the forum. Post after post after post. It's all, please and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. You're worrying me. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. There it is. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Eh? <sighs> Akiyama-kun. Yo, Mishima! I haven't seen you since graduation! <laughs> we actually saw each other other here not that long ago. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm? Akiyama-kun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem... quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Ah, there it is. Zero. Damn it. He acts like I'm a total nothing, but he still takes time to try and mess with me. I've changed, though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I even heard he's hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. Wait, that's it! We can change his heart instead of that actor's. Alright, it's decided. Your next target is gonna be Akiyama-kun. Let's see. Where's his info? Um, speaking of targets... Are you guys gonna come after me someday, too? Are you feeling guilty? <clears throat> You're really considering it? <laughs> good, good joke. See you around. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'll send you Akiyama-kun's info later. Mishima is trying to push an, a target on us to advance his own agenda. <sighs> I should discuss this with the others. So, he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him? 
Didn't he give us some other weird, weird request too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima Kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Wait, hold on. Whoa, wait up. He ain't that bad. Yep. Hmm. I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're going to change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow in mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Mm. Mishima-kun. It, it feels almost wrong to consider such an option. But... We can't have him keep causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not to, we change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Uh, that's the only way. Now, let's carry yeah, let's head into Mementos and track down Mishima's shadow. Wait, are we going now? We're going now? See you in a bit, Anja. <gasps> Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart, even after everything I've done for you guys? Me, of all people? If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be... Eh, I wouldn't be just some stupid Zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers. Get out of here. I want to talk to your leader. Alone. Mishima's turned into a shit. This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I accepted that I was a zero. Embraced it, even. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. I mean, seeing a real-life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could do be something more. I want to change society, too. I want the world to notice me. If I could just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous, too. Will that really satisfy you? I'm not sure, but I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, anybody, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong. But if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? What? You aren't gonna change my heart? There's no need. Hey. Come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah. See ya, bud! No. no! I need the Phantom Thieves! I need to be famous! I need to... I... H hello huh. <clears throat> Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Wow, rude. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. It's going well. You are quite <clears throat> the cautious one. Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. What game? This is real life. I wonder if that was foreshadowing. Oh, Morgana's dreaming again. That 
dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. Are you sure, little buddy? I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. <sighs> Morgana's not having the best of times at the moment. Ooh, who's this? Uh... Mmm, you see, I would, but I have other plans today. <clears throat> so, I've been thinking about all the different ways I could save Aiko. But the best method would be getting evidence of Tsukasa's misconduct. That's the conclusion I keep coming to. So, I'm thinking of asking around in the red light district. If it's okay with you, you think you could help me out? I'm eating now, I should respond right. later. Today's your day off, are you gonna go somewhere? Oh, and make sure you eat your curry before it gets cold. Yes, sir, boss. Got an invitation to go out. Let's reply once we finish eating. Well then. <clears throat> and now we wait like usual. That's not an excuse to slack off. We should still use our time wisely. And that we will. With my overabundance of funds. <laughs> <laughs> Cries in not a million. Um, it's me, I'm the trickster who will aid you, but after you give me a uh, boost do? to kindness. Wait a minute. What shall we do? Do I still need it? I do still need kindness, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <coughs> Sorry. What shall we do? We're gonna have our fortune read, we're gonna boost our kindness, and we're gonna go feed the plant. Now. The hero font. What do you think? Kindness. First things first, to the plant! Plant hungers. Hmm. Ooh, a kitty! I saw him. Uh. Maybe I can't do the plant. Maybe I'm just stupid. I think that's it. I think I'm just stupid. Anyway, we're gonna go do what we're actually gonna do today. There's a there's a card in the Juggalo Arcade, and we're gonna go find out why. Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the king. Oh, I've heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must still be in grade school. He's dual wielding? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. And it's still too easy for him. Well, I guess that's that. What a monster. The king may have some tips on how to defeat the cheater. I should negotiate with him. What do you want? Uh let's play a game. Nah, sounds like too much work. Don't take it personal. I'll turn everyone down. Later. There's an invincible player. Invincible, huh? You mean that guy who cheats, right? Makes really makes me mad when he does that. I don't care. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. I won't let the bad guys win. Uh huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. So you're saying you want to beat the cheater? You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. The Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? Uh... They came to my school. <laughs> oh, you mean at Shujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, um... Teaching you how to play gun about won't be easy. 
and I won't get anything out of it. Let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know. How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? I mean, you already met one of them. <laughs> Whoa, seriously? Well, if you really want it, want to that much, then... I thought for sure you were just going to give up. Wow, I didn't see this coming. But the Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? I'll introduce you to them. Huh? You're going to tell them my name? My name's Shinya Oda. Hey. Gosh darn it. Tell the Phantom Thieves my name and have them post it somewhere. Only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as an autograph and proof that they know my name. <sighs> proof that you really know the Phantom Thieves, huh? We need something credible for this kid to believe us. Didn't Futaba say she hacked into gun about server or something? Let's discuss this with Futaba. She might have an idea. Well, after we go get a... Uh, Big Bang Burger Coon. Oop. Let me mute that. Alright, we're gonna play this until we get Burger Coon. We desire dolls. Or not dolls, but there's no way. There's absolutely no way we just one hit that. There's no fucking way, chat. Big Bang Burger Coon doll, huh? You should put it somewhere in your room when we get home. There's no freaking way I just did that. Speaking of... Alright, we do have a tower. Uh, spoilers! Kid is tower. I guess not big spoilers, because we're going to find that out very short, shortly anyway, but, uh... Hey, Futaba! All right. You found the king? No surprise there! So, did he tell you how to take down that cheater? No. He wants... he's going to, on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away, though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the Gunabout server and do something? But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. Uh, we could send him a calling card. A calling card? What are we gonna steal? Oh, yeah. Oh, how about the homepage? I already hacked into it, so it's as good as stolen. Hmm, okay. I'll write a calling card saying that we're gonna steal the Gunabout homepage. After that, you'll need to leave evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. The King will have no choice but to really believe it was... Or to believe it was really us. <laughs> Ooh, this sounds like fun put our logo smack dab at the top of the front page. Perfect. We'll go see the king. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him, so wait for our word to start the hacking. All right. I went to Jim Bocho again. That's incredible. No. I no. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Let me go to Akihabara. It's the second time I've done that. In a row. And here we go. Hey, buddy. Mm. No, I wanted to, him. Hey. The fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Futaba to do the hacking? Uh, contact. I'm ready whenever. Uh, go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? The who? Calling card? Huh? Ah, there's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, is is this for real? Yeah, I turn mean, around, buddy. You can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! 
They hacked the site, just like they did on Midget's site. Which means you were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves. No way. How'd you do it? Through a secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool. So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. Wow. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. I don't know how to aim, I'm stupid. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Uh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise, but also Spartan-like. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. <laughs> Alright, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. Really? One day? I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Me too, Sorry. buddy. Me too. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. I have the ultimate trump card. So oh. tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal. I've made a deal with Shinya. And we're going back to the room, boys. Let's go. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. <laughs> Where did you learn how to handle a gun? My capable coach is a tiny child. I am thou. Thou, thou art, art thou. I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the tower persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. The old tower. Skilled gamer, tower. Down shot. Allows you to knock down an enemy with a special shot once per infiltration. I think it even works on those immune to gun. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. Damn. A little bit more kindness, a little bit more guts. We're almost done. Hey. Yo. So glad I caught you. Hey, we, ex we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so. <laughs> Call me when it's game time. <laughs> Whoa, looks like we got a real gamer over here. There, got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you in gun about. I'm probably gonna have to go back out. Oh, hello? Hey, inmate. I've already forgotten. Oh my god. Hmm. Father's begun acting a little odd lately. He's been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after the treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. Don't let your guard down. 
Come on, don't scare her. Hmm. I feel consult uh, feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Sojuro. Can I get some coffee? Coffee with Sojuro. <sighs> Sorry and thanks. Oh, the regulars will be... I missed a game show. I mean, I don't need any more knowledge, but... There's a game show on right now that I missed. Apologies. <laughs> no, the regulars will be here any minute. I didn't say it was a 100% run. I'd said it was a true ending run. Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? <laughs> All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things from my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. He always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? Eh, to each his own. It's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. <laughs> anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. She seemed especially aggressive today, huh? Would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. Him again. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Futaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah, and what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done, and it's about time you pay up. Don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? We could always find out in court. I wonder who'd win uh, who'd win between a blood relative and a mere legal guardian. A mere legal guardian. You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him and his criminal record. That leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Futaba, now does it? Shut your mouth. Do you have a problem, punk? I'll sue you for intimidation. Hey, keep your neck out of this. Just get on upstairs, okay? Sojiro, I hunger. Oh. Futaba-chan, long time no see. Eh. Futaba. See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. She, this is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. Hm. Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. Mm. Well, I hope you reached the right decision. Bye now! Futaba, you should just head home for today. I'll take you. Sojiro. <sighs> Futaba's okay. All that drama must have tired her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around to all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. Couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. 
I threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed. But now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Saving Futaba was no mistake. <laughs> Thanks. I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way, though, it's my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help her through it. I'd make curry, leave it by her door, and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So, if you ask me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be best the best for Futaba. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me, spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Though, it's kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. <laughs> I guess there really is something special about you. Rank up with Coffee Man! Coffee Mastery allows you to brew coffee that greatly restores SP of one ally. Alright. Uh, quick side note. I forgot Kawakami again. But, quick side note, other than that. Kawakami cannot make the upgraded coffee. She can only make the lowest rank. Because she didn't learn how to make good coffee. You did. It's already pretty late. I'm going home. I should be heading home. I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Oh, and thanks. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna go check Nightbot and see why the hell he's not chilling in my chat. Little buddy, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know why he's not, no, why he's not chatting, but whatever. Kindness up! Kindness max! Now we just need a little bit more guts. All right. Your kindness has increased from selfless to angelic. One sec. There we go. I accidentally closed my page when I was checking on Nightbot. Hey. Futaba's fast asleep. Didn't mean to get you tangled up in all this mess. If I can help somehow. No, you don't have to do anything. The fact that you asked is enough. Man, though, I never know what I'm doing when I talk to you. I just keep on yammering on about stuff I never planned on talking about. That must be going senile, huh? Anyway, don't worry about that guy. I'll find some way to deal with him. You just keep looking out for Futaba. Seems like you two are really hitting it off, so... That's all I had to say. Don't forget to lock up before bed. Later. I've already forgotten. Oh my god, no. Everyone's in Those phantom thieves need to hurry up and deal with Okumura. Not just him, but all companies that exploit their employees. Yeah, we're in trouble too, you know. Take out one, you gotta take them all out. It's only fair. Man. Why are they raking us over the coals? People are, uh... Go a little Let's nuts. Ooh! Kawakami's pulling him out of class! We get a free day! Welcome back, Anja! What do you wanna do? Uh, we're gonna finish off the uh, Master Swordsman book. This should hopefully max my guts. A heart that believes in oneself is the truth of Bushido. I think this will max me. Boom, there it is, baby. Achievement unlocked. Pure perfection. All right. Your guts has increased from dauntless to lion-hearted. Ah. ah, the teacher's back. Apologies. Yep. We did it, boys.
All right, we're gonna go buy some books today. I was a little ahead of myself. My brain was telling me I needed to come here, but until you finish this book, you can't buy the rest of it. I'm going to pop by the Velvet Room because I don't know if I have what I need. I do not. Uh. Who am I okay paying more paying money for? I have Horus. I don't need Mithras. Also, I don't need sun anymore. Horus is... Damage is what Horus is. That That's the issue with, uh... You'd like to read the what I went through you want doing. Just, are you sure? Read here. I need a counselor. Wait, Jakara B is a counselor now? Is this what you want? Interesting. Okay. Done already? What? Damn. If I knew that, I'd have held on to the damn starfish. No oh, well. So I guess, uh, spoilers, we're gonna go hang out with Maruki today. Rain, we're going to school. I don't know why I just selected the rooftop, actually. Because I wanted to get as far away from the freaking counselor's room as possible, I guess. I actually don't remember where Maruki is. Um, no. Is that him? Is that him in the practice building? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it is. Nice. Hey, Maruki. Welcome. Hey, good work today. It's already autumn. You'd expect it to be a little less hot, right? Don't mind me, I'm just making up words as I go. Ah, yes. Thanks to you, my research has been going really, uh, going so well. Really, you've been such a huge help. So... So, I wanted to talk to you, but do you have time? Hmm. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help Maruki with his research? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, since we have time, I was hoping we could talk at that cafe you're staying at. I'm a huge fan of their coffee. Let's head out now. I'll get dressed, then we can get going. Sounds like he's getting the treat today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't ready to be on that side of the counter. <laughs> sorry for coming over out of the blue. You must have a real knack for coffee. This is fantastic. Another cup. Thanks, but I'll pass for today. You see, it's about the research that we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it all together in a paper. It's been really progressing lately, thanks in no small part to you, but I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate if you'd help uh, help me talk through this again. Uh, I can do that. Thank you. Really? Thank you. You're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, we need to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? It's thanks to you that my project has come this far. <sighs> but because of all that progress, I've realized a problem. One that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. This one doesn't matter. Uh, isn't that enough? True. I guess it's better than not being able to save anyone. But I can't just be satisfied with that. I mean, there's so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is a painful, cruel, bitter world. And there's only so much one individual can do to fight against that. I've said it before. Working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. 
You know, I... Deep down, I... I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. A few people out of billions. I want to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In turn, we have infinite methods by which we have to uh, try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help desperately, but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's what I ultimately realized. Mm, so give up. Yeah, that'd probably be easier. Unfortunately, I've never been great at giving up when I should. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and then remove the root cause of their pain. It sounds like something out of a dream. Next two don't matter. Ah, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. Everyone's cognition. More importantly, what is this mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. Hmm? Did I say something wrong? What if they're connected? <laughs> What's this come? Where's this coming from? Sure, they can connect, but... No, wait. Oh, you're right! My god, you're right! That's it! The collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Ah, oh, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? There's no fucking way. <laughs> yes, right. And if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to cognitive science, too. Whoa, calm down. Uh, uh, sorry. sorry. But I think you've just helped me make a major breakthrough. I think this means something big for my cognitive science research. I need to hurry and get this down in my paper. I knew it'd be worth bringing to you. Thank you. I swear I'll repay you for this. I can sense powerful gratitude from Maruki. Rank six! Le consultant. All right. All right then. Well, I need to get going. See you. As he sprints all the way home. Sorry for her. <laughs> I told you he sprinted all the way home. Rushing out so suddenly earlier. Calm down. S sorry, I ended up running to the station on sheer adrenaline. I'm so out of shape, though. Gotta do something about that. Anyhow, you helped me come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm gonna finish it for your sake, too. Seriously, thank you. Bye! Whatever, my guy. Father was cooped up again in his uh, cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him too. Is this what normally happens? Manorame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried, but let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry, it'll be just like it always is. Absolutely, nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm here for. What do I want to buy? I'm kidding, we're buying all of it.
<laughs> We're buying everything. So far, you've spent a total of 85,500 yen. Good news! You've spent over 50,000 yen. Your member rank is now dark. You can now per you can purchase all of our dark tier products. Your order will arrive soon. We understand your excitement, but we ask for your patience. We hope to see you again soon. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let me make sure I have the correct persona. I do not. The usual. All right, who can I drop this time? Do I need hanged? I do need hanged. Do I need star? I do need star. I don't need emperor. <sighs> but they're expensive. Uh, which can I do more without? Barong or King Frost? Goodbye, Barong. I'll get you back later. Gotta be careful and talk to the frickin' Velvet Room from a mile away. Because I don't want to deal with the kids today. I want... A Devil Persona. Nope. I just, just want a Persona. Should've went the other way. What? It is time, inmate. I'm excited for the day we get the Mara. Just so all of you can be Let's like, what the fuck is that thing? Hmm? Oh, cool. I got a scoop. The chief suddenly got really weird. Can you come to the bar so I can explain in more detail? Okay. I don't know. I read. I read that wrong. So I was like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> so the chief reduced my quota, and he even apologized to me. He said he's been concerned with for my health, which is actually kind of creepy now that I think about it. Anyway, that's not all. He said he's letting me reopen my investigation into what happened to Kayo. He told me he wants to do everything I. He wants me to do everything I can to pursue the truth. I think he was serious. I wonder what happened to make him change so suddenly. Uh, he reflected on his actions. What? Just out of the blue? Hmm. The whole thing's too convenient. It seems a little fishy, you know. I mean, you. Asked me for the chief's name the other day, right? Did I? I can't remember. Hmm... Why are you giving him such a hard time? Aren't you going to tell him the other good news? I... I know where Kayo is. Uh, oh? That was part of the chief's apology to me. Apparently he did some investigating on his own. So he followed up on my journalist friend's source and... It turns out she really is alive after all. Thank God. This is incredible news. So, where is she? A mental hospital. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that one took a turn. That explains why she hasn't been able to contact me this whole time. I really want to go see her, but to be honest, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to know the truth. Not just about Kayo's current state, but about what happened to her that night, too. Uh, that's not like you. I know. Honestly, I shouldn't be afraid to face the truth. I've been chasing for so long, but yeah, I am. I won't let that stop me, though. I'll do this. I'm going to go see her, no matter what happens. I need to see this through to the end. Otherwise, I wouldn't be Ichiko Oya, journalist extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really glad I talked to you about this. I never would have made my mind up without your help. You know, you're way more than just some high school kid. You're almost like my guidance counselor. I can sense Oya's deep appreciation for me. Frank Eight. All right. 
Oh, by the way, everything with the chief worked out. Okay, the higher-ups are still keeping an eye on me. So I'll need you to keep the juicy tidbits coming. I can't stop writing about the Phantom Thieves now. <laughs> All right, let's see what you have for me today. I enthralled Oya with my stories about the Phantom Thieves. I feel like my charm has increased. But it hasn't because it's already maxed. Well then. Can't wait for next time. Kaya, you good to talk? Thanks for pushing me to go see Kaya. I'm a journalist. From now on, I'm always going to chase the truth. Good luck. Thanks. You really are a weird kid, you know that? Whenever I talk to you, I get this heightened sense of duty for some reason. I'll come back with some awesome stories, so let's meet up again. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Got to pack for my big trip. See ya. But I want a souvenir. Ooh, we got a seat! We are going to read... Majed Menace. Not that it matters, we're just reading it to read it. <laughs> it's knowledge up, by the way. Doesn't matter, because our knowledge is maxed. Autumn is for eating. Autumn is for art. Autumn is for reading. Stores will use whatever reasons they can to pull in customers. This season in particular. Ah, yes. People also say that autumn is for sports. A while back, baseball was the national sport. But these days, people have been into soccer. <laughs> What's a soccer? As you know, black and white are the common colors for soccer balls. Now then, could you take a look at this picture? Man! Stop calling for me! Many white and black shapes are there, respectively, on a soccer ball. It's 20 and 12. This is it. Precisely. That's correct. This ball is composed of 12 black pentagons and 20 white hexagons. It's made up of a total of 32 surfaces. By the way, apparently soccer balls used to be only one color. They changed it to black and white so it could be seen better on television. Or so I hear, anyway. Television was still in black and white when they started airing soccer in Europe. At any rate, the contrast of black and or white and black next to each other. It's a slick design, don't you think? I'm smart. I'm even smarter now. The recent design that's caught my eye is the moon burger, which uses an egg to represent the moon. I'm well aware of the bad rumors surrounding Okumura foods, but you can't argue with hunger. Think someone like her really eats hamburgers? What does that mean, cat? I wanna know what the hell that someone like six messages? God damn. One's for Felicia, which we will ignore forever. Uh, Gun Boy. Uh, Maruki. Uh, we do still have more priestess to do. Ah, she's back. And she wants to do a request. But we're going to ignore all of them and talk to Tiny Child. Hello, Tiny Child. We've done all we can. Now, we wait. You got some time? Let's keep going on that promise list. All right. Okay, then let's hold a strategy meeting in LeBlanc. Don't worry, there aren't any customers around right now. Eh, that's normal. Don't tell Sojura I said that. Hmm. The next promise on this list is go to school. Right. Pretty hard stuff for the second boss. It's gonna be even harder knowing there are people there too. Well, let's do it. ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Huh? You're going to school? Oh, um, never mind. Just go have some fun.
This can only end well. Here we are. School. I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. What are you doing here? Um, well... I see. Promise list. Like what you used to make with your mother. Well, do you want to come in? Um... Can I use a go home instead? Let's do this together. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Most of the students have already left. And all the teachers are in a meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible! If I've got you two with me, this place is going to be as easy as fighting a trash mob. I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, come on. I'll show you around the school. Um... This is the cafeteria, where some students choose to eat lunch. Uh... Lunch. Did you forget to eat? No. That reminds me of this time I was the only kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. Oh, and this other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. No! <laughs> what the shit? I didn't notice because they're both red. It was really gross. <laughs> um, anyway. The cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? Let's move on. Um... Fucking ketchup strawberries got me done. This is the school library. We have all the regular academic fare here. Textbooks, encyclopedias, study guides. But we also have a few manga and light novels at the request of some especially vocal students. So many books. Do you like to read, Futaba? Uh, mm-hmm. Back in elementary school, I memorized the titles of all the books on a shelf in just one glance. The other kids thought I was making it up when I told them, though. But then when I recited all the titles to prove it, they just laughed and called me a freak. Am I weird? Ah, you're talented. That answer didn't matter. I mean, it is a weird thing to do, but you know. I don't want to be talented if it's going to creep people out. Ugh, school is the worst. Oops, wrong button. Well, should we move along? Only the classrooms remain, though on second thought. Maybe we should pass on those today. Eh, the brain just grabbed it. Shall we head back to the entrance? <laughs> Go get into gamble gambling. Memorize cards. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like she could fucking be a billionaire just off of card counting. Well, probably a, a thousand air before the fucking casino got mad and kicked her out. I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be. It's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? I think it's cute. Huh? What, what kind of weird fetish stuff are you into? But... Honestly, Futaba. It's clear how much you've improved recently. You would never have gotten so worried about this before. Huh? What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step forward, changing it. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble come Christmas. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great, right? Ooh, Wait, so you're happy with me even though I got totally depressed? Hmm. Is this like that saying about when life gives you lemons? Maybe I could make lemonade for the Phantom Thieves. Or, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Futaba seems enthusiastic. Break 4, Position Hack. Change to instantly hold up enemies when starting a battle. Funnily enough, that actually has a... Decently high 
um, RNG roll on it. All right. I'm sure you would make a lot of friends if you decided to come to school now, Futaba. Friends. Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing. All right, I went back to school, so that means promise number two is all done. Okay. Anyway, home. let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for dinner? How about curry? It's always curry. Curry forever. Okay. Yes, hello. Kitty cat rolled up in here and meowed at me. Time to make like a rabbit and hop on out of here. Monkey! What is good? Hoi! Thanks a bunch for showing me around school today. Oh no. Tico, why? Well, welcome home, sir. He said, why are you cleaning my butt? You leave my butt alone. I like it crusty. <laughs> I like it crusty. Oh, Lord. Feeling crazy fulfilled, but also super tired. 2B8. 2BH? 2BH. Fucking hell. Can't believe everyone runs such a high-level dungeon every single day. You guys are really are OP. <laughs> no, <laughs> poor Jason. You just gave that man pink eye. What the hell? I get the sense I'll level up faster if I stay close to you, but... I still think I'd run out of MP way too fast. The real world is a scary place. I'll help you anytime. Really? But I still gotta work on it, huh? So much for taking it easy on me. Ugh. Poor Jason. But I do feel like I'm making a lot of progress thanks to you. I'm gonna keep going at my own pace for my next goal, too. Gotta focus on healing when you need to, right? And I can't just keep getting carried through all this. I gotta learn how to fend for myself. Okay, later! Ah, you're back. Oh my god, stop. Stop messaging every single solitary day. He, he even likes attention if it smells like butt. <laughs> Alright, yep, that's what it, it still says that. Yep. Nope, it still says that. I had to read that one a couple times. Alright, there haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okumura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them has been cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's because of us. Damn, I'm glad we got famous. But it's highly probable they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going to be in trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there's been a great deal more invest, uh, instigating comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. We're not doing anything. We already did our bit. Our inactivity must be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. Eh, screw them. We're going to go up Hanged, and then we're going to go hang out with Hanged. Um... Trickster's already aided you. What shall we do? Affinity with EY. I just saw his name. Here we go. Okay. My feelings have reached my new buddy. What do you think? Nice. He has called for me. I need help at the shop. Stop by if you can. You know, I seems waiting for you at the shop. You gonna go see him? Damn. 
Impatient. Everyone has a secret they don't want anybody, anyone to know. I barely use a PC because I'd be in trouble if it got hacked. Oh, we're just reading this again. I want to work. Something I need to talk to you about. Oh, we are going to hang out with him. All right, come to the back. Actually, listen up, kid. I figured out Suda's weakness. Well, you and Kaoru were over at that diner. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to call him Kaoru now. Kaoru. I was getting info out of, from a reliable source of mine. Turns out I guessed right. Suda was the one on the other end of that Hong Kong mafia deal. Apparently, he paid them off for a huge arsenal of guns. <laughs> this is where things start getting interesting, though. If he was smuggling all that shit in, why would he come to me asking for modified guns? I mean, don't something about that seem off to you? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> right? That piece of shit's trying to lord his position over me, but he ain't got shit now. What I'm really saying here is, I don't think those Hong Kong guys ever delivered on their end of the deal. They probably just took his money and flat out stiffed him on the guns. Masa told me something real weird back when you and Kaoru were, were over at the diner, though. Hmm. Apparently, the clan's been treating that Hong Kong transaction like some kind of massive business success. I mean, Suda's been lying to him this whole time. Now he's trying to use me to cover up his mistake. He's clever. Yep. Everyone's always known he's one sneaky son of a bitch. Don't matter now, though. Everything's gonna change once I tell the clan what's up. Suda's not gonna be able to keep intimidating me ever anymore. And I'll make sure... <laughs> Every time I say it, it makes me giggle. Kaoru won't get labeled like I was. He'll be a regular, respectable adult. Something I could have never dreamed of. gonna have to talk to Suda himself first though gotta follow the Yakuza code yo hey I got a favor to ask you if anything happens to me take Kao Kaoru right or okay okay you going alone probably I know he'd be able to get rid of me no problem with a without a witness there but I've got to put an end to this besides nobody would wanna wait a sec I've got you that's right I want you to come talk to Suda with me. He's not gonna dare lay a finger on a civilian kid's. A civilian kid. It'd cause way too many complications for him. If you come as my witness, things will be miles safer. Good. All right then, it's settled. Oh, and let me think of a reward. Gotta thank you for the info and for being my witness. <laughs> How about I work even harder on that special menu? That should be good for you, yeah? Feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. Rank 7, Expert Customization. Unlocks more parts for customization. All right. Well, I'll hit you up when it's time. Let's do this, kid. Later. Thanks for today. Yes, hello. Yo, about that witness talk earlier. Remember, it's too late to get cold feet now. You can't bail on me. But I'm obviously going to look out for you. If it comes down to it, I'll personally take responsibility for protecting you. But considering who we're dealing with, we can't afford to take any chances. Bring it on! <laughs> you really do have guts. But guts alone isn't enough to get by in this world. Remember, nothing's that simple. Look, I know I shouldn't be getting a minor dragged into this shit. But you're the only one I can rely on. When everything's prepped and ready, I'll give you a call. Later. Put me in, coach. Oh, poo. Who's this? Ah, oh, it's Futaba. You have tomorrow off, right? I'm gonna be on standby at the hideout, so... We gotta play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the ropes so you can use it to let out your stress. Oh, but if you're busy, then do that first and I'll wait. It's a retro game called Power Intuition. Look forward to it. Time to make like a tree. Looks like Futaba's coming over tomorrow. Too bad we're gonna ignore her. 
Ah! Am I still... Yeah, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine on my end. Don't know why it dropped fucking internet connection. Whatever. Game dropped, stream didn't. <laughs> Here we go! It begins. Hey. Yeah, Futaba can be down there all she wants. Because <sighs> we are, yet again, going to the Velvet Room. Because I never have what I need when I need it. I don't need Emperor. I don't need Sun. I don't need Empress yet. I need Devil, Tower... Counselor. I never need fool. I need hanged, I need hero. I never need judgment. I need star. Emperor's done, sun's done. Let's drop bugs. Hey, inmate. We can pick him up later. Because we need priestess back. You'd like to read these are the paths you have walked. If you'll withdraw this is your profession. Are you finished? What? Alright, let's get up out of here. Inmate. <laughs> Ain't that the damn truth. That's the main area of the game. No, I don't want to reform society. I want to go hang out with Makoto. Hey, -o. Well, All we can do now is wait. Um, I need some help with a matter involving Aika. Are you free? Hang out. Thank you. It'll be nice to have you with me. Um. I want to dig up some dirt regarding Aiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, before we confront her about it. I was thinking of asking around the red light district for info. Right, Shall we head over there? The game I said I didn't have a choice. Online about horrible oh. hosts like Tsukasa all the time. However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Aiko. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Specifically, we want... I think it's this guy. Hmm? How about you come to our club and we show you a good time? You have money. You have money, though? You seem like a poor young kid. Uh, do you know a Tsukasa? Tsukasa? You bastard. You a friend of his? So you know him. He's using the sake bottle trick? Let me make it clear for you. Get that girl out of there. Tsukasa's known for wrecking lives. He breaks a sake bottle, then ends up selling the girls to pay it back. Same thing happened to one of my friends. Damn it! We have proof now. Come on. It's almost time for Aiko's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. What do you want? Hey! Aiko, your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt, then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably doing it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of there. You seriously came all the way here to tell me all that? Ugh, get out of here, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Tsukasa has lied to about a broken sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please, reconsider this relationship. We're in Tokyo. What do you mean? There's a bunch of fucked up shit over here. Shut it. I already have a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club. So, stay out of my way. Yo, did I make you wait, babe? Came a little late after seeing your text. But I guess you're already here. Hey, yo, I know these guys. 
Want to hop on over to my club with us? It's going to be a total blast. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to date a pimp. Ain't that the damn truth? They were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like how you get f girls in the debt and then force them to sell themselves. They're lying to me, right? <laughs> it's not a phase, Dad. Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me. Nothing like that's happening here. I'd never lie to you, princess. Hmm. It's always princess with you. Why don't you ever call her by her real name, Sukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Sukasa? <laughs> what are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I can never forget you, Makoto. <laughs> I knew it. I'm the one who texted you. I'll be five minutes late today, BB. I even added tons of emojis at the end to make sure it seemed like I uh, Aiko. Admit it. Every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember names anymore. Don't you see, Aiko? This is who your boyfriend really is. But, but you tricked him. What would you... Sorry, I need a second. He can't look at me and tell you my name even though we're dating. But you tricked him. I'm okay. What would you know about love, huh? Sukasa's all I have. Just leave me alone, bitch. Ooh, fucking got him! What? <laughs> Wake up. You already know the truth. You just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. Now you slap him. No, slap him. But, but Sukasa is the only one who cares about me. Nobody else asks me about my day or how work is going. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. The perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations could never know how I feel. Stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit. This has nothing to do with being an honor student. I just can't rest knowing there's such evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. As for you, apologize to Aiko and stay away from her for now on. Huh? You're really starting to annoy me with this shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a chick. I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you. What was that, you bastard? I come from a long line of police officers. If you really want to start something, be my guest. What? What? Damn it. I'll remember this. He wasn't so tough after all. Uh, This sucks. Aiko. Whoa, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with a host? They were really going at it. People noticed what happened. Uh, we should get out of here. You're right. Right. Staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. Aiko. Hmm. I can't believe I actually hit one of my friends. <laughs> you really smacked her. No, wait. That was the right move. I see. Really? I hope so. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but get swept up in emotion. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. That's not the proper way to act, though. There's no telling what would have happened if you hadn't stepped in. Um... That aside, this place is... 
Interesting. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. I'm a regular here. Hmm. So you come often? It's hard to believe you're really a high schooler. You have so much more life experience than me. Honestly, spending time with you and getting to know Aiko has given me a great deal to think about. There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew how the world worked, but the more I spent with t uh, yeah, the more I spent time with you guys, the more I realized how naive I was. But... I see now that there are some things I need other people to teach me. You remember how Aiko said I would flunk a test about love? Well, um, I don't know how to study that subject. Alright, chat! It's time to get in trouble again! I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. And another one. And another one. Hmm. I can't learn about romance by myself. I'll be your study partner. I'm not exactly the most well-versed in these matters, so allow me to confirm this. Oh look, Nightbot's awake! Hello, Nightbot! Took you fucking long enough. Um... Do you... like me? And now you can back out if you're a chicken shit. I do. Oh. So, first playthrough? Uh, do you like like me? Check yes or no. Uh, I did pick Makoto. Also because of the red eyes. Chimkin. Um, you really mean it, right? Well then. You see... If, um, if it's alright with you, let's start dating for real. This is so embarrassing. I look forward to, um, growing our relationship, um, together. I'm now in a relationship with Makoto. And the other half of the city. <laughs> Oop. Priestess Nine. She can now protect. Alright. There's no turning back now. <laughs> Lala, go away! <laughs> you kids done with your little heart-to-heart -heart yet? So, sorry about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. Just a glimpse into this fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. Tonight, it's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, um... <laughs> right. Well, we should be going. I fucking love Lala. All right then. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh hey, are you good to talk right now? Sorry, I know we just saw each other. So, I think between us, we managed to help uh, uh Aiko see the truth. I'd probably never have pulled this off alone. Thank you so much. Why do we pick the cheesy one? Huh? Come on, stop that. But hearing that does make me happy. You're too nice to me. I'm thinking of calling Aiko once she calms down a bit, but I wanted to get a courage boost from you before I did. Yep, that helped. I think I can talk to Aiko properly now. I guess, but boyfriends, um, really can be reliable. Oh, um, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Ah, yes, the phone again. Hello. Once a day. That creep hasn't tried anything funny, right, Haru? No, I'm okay. Thank you for asking, Anchan. Philo did say he'd rescind the ma marriage offers as well. I'm a bit worried, though. There's still some time before the deadline. If anything happens, be sure to let us know. Thanks, Makachan. I will gladly rely on all of you. There is also the matter of the mental shutdowns. I hope no danger comes to Haru. I guess Haru's dad did say that he was just making requests. 
Yes, the true culprit, uh, culprit is still out there, triggering mental shutdowns in exchange for money. We gotta catch whoever it is. Any idea who the culprit might be? It's me! The Black Mask person. Yes, they're definitely the most likely perpetrator. Either way, I'm sure we'll learn more once Haru's father speaks up about it. We just gotta wait for his change of heart. Utaba's right. We don't have any intel now, so there's nothing we can do. Let's wait for Okumura's change of heart, then pursue the truth behind the mental shutdowns. I'm trying to wait, but y'all keep messaging me every day. Every day. Every day you're like, oh no, Akumara. Just, just, just let me hang out with people. Hey. Mm. Thief fun set? Oh no, we're getting the Phantom Thief set. Thief fun set looks like crap. Oh god, I'm poor. Speaking of poor, can we make curry? What do you do? And by can we make curry, I mean, can Kawakami make curry? Make sure you close up. Hi. You make curry, I'm gonna read a book. And zoom. <laughs> and we get decent curry. Oh, now what? Ah, thank you so much. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. I just got out of that meat I was talking to you about and... My routine was the best I've ever given so far. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Why me? You're the reason I've come so far, Senpai. You helped me so much, even with the mundane, thing, mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. Please, I just want to thank you again. Take a shot every time she thanks us. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. Now I'd better get going. Have a good night. Nope, no apology yet. Good morning. Ah, the palace is gone, so I guess we're waiting for a while. What do you guys do at times like these? Eh, take a break. I'm done studying. I see. I suppose it'll do us good to take it easy every now and then. Still, don't go overboard. You can't forget your primary duties as a high schooler. It's important to uh, play the part of a diligent student, right? Bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong, bing bong. <coughs> All right, we want an item from this store. What would you like? The calling postcard. And with that, we're gonna go hang out with the kid today. Aren't you gonna train? I thought you wanted to get better. I'll be at the arcade today. Be fun to hang out with you. Okay, I'll be waiting. We're off to hang out with the child. Howdy. Hey. There's a Phantom Thieves capsule toy machine at the shop in the back alley. You can get all kinds of Phantom Thieves stuff. I got a Phantom Thieves badge. Wonder what I'll get next. You're here to train, right? Well, are you ready? Let's keep playing. Well, I'm gonna walk around, blah, blah. Go away, cat. You bastard. What the? You made the same mistake last time. What are you doing? Don't you get it? You can't just shoot all over the place. The king's so awesome at that game. Yeah, but he's got such a bad attitude. It's like he's bipolar. I wonder how long that high school is gonna be able to keep up. You haven't gotten any, you haven't gotten better at all. When are you gonna learn? Phew. It's really late. Thanks to you taking so long to figure it out. 
Don't compare me to you. Yeah, you're right. Hey. I've always been good at shooting games. But I absolutely never want to lose a gun about. So I guess I tend to get all heated up about it. It's time for all the elementary skill cool skids. It's time for all the elementary school kids to go home. Do you understand, little boy? Shut up. Do I need to call your mom? Fine, I'll leave, alright? What a rude employee. Seriously. I really wanted to keep playing. My house is so boring. No one's ever there, and there's never anything to do. Adults and high schoolers are so lucky. They get to play all night long. Having that much time helps you get stronger. Wish I could play all day instead of going to school. I'd never lose another game. I need to get really strong like the Phantom Thieves. Do you admire them? Of course I do. I want to be just as strong as they are. I believe in the Phantom Thieves and their strength. I'll let them know. Thank you. That'd be great. Thanks. Seriously, though, I can't stop thinking about that employee. He was super annoying, huh? If he says something again, I might just have to use that move on him. The one I taught you, remember? You should use it sometime. Bullet hail! Chance to enter a gun-based all-out attack after a successful ambush. All right. Well, it's just a move in the game, so it won't work against actual people. I wish it did. Then I'd be strong in real life. I need to be able to win in real life. I'm gonna head home. Tiny child! Go home! My voice cracked. Later. Say hi to the Phantom Thieves for me. It's not your fault. You're just hitting puberty. I hate you both! <laughs> oh, hello. It's me, Shinya Oda. I was bored, so I thought I'd call. Forgot to mention earlier, but you gotta keep practicing, even on single player, okay? Everyone sucks at first, but you can get good if you do it every day. Uh, I'll work hard. Trying to figure out why uh, pre rolls decided they just turned themselves on. Whatever. You better. You're supposed to be the adult here. I'm practicing a lot too. I want to get as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Oh, my mom came home. I gotta hang up. Bye. Ah, you're back. Yo. Ooh, another box. I wonder who this is from. Calming aroma. Ah, shopping. Oh. Um. We also got the Tanaka box. Uh, let me just. Oh, I can't just skip it. Nope, nobody. Well, we're gonna go hang out with Hifumi. <laughs> my thinking gets sharper on rainy days. The sound of raindrops increases my focus. Also, they didn't message me today. Are they sick? Um, do you have some time today? I'd like to request a match with you. I feel I can become closer with Hifumi thanks to the blah 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 blah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I look forward to it. Check. Ha <laughs> ha You have been defeated. The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo kingdom is complete. All of my pieces have been taken. Hifumi has left me utterly defeated. 
But to think you could still stay standing after being struck by my silver infinity sword. <laughs> You've improved, considering that you endured the climbing silver so early in the match. The determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Actually... The exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shogi player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking league. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I have hiccups. Let's go. I confess, I am a bit scared though. It may come down to luck. You're right. However, that also means I have a chance of winning, even though my opponent is ranked higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. All right. But I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. I believe in you. Thank you. So, um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Thank you very much. Strategically place your pieces in the enemy zone to increase your chances of getting gold. Be sure to use that tactic in your next match. For today, try and steal the pieces you want from me. Rank 7! We get Narikin! Earn double money if a battle is won in <laughs> one turn after a successful ambush. <laughs> More money! Well then, let's begin the match. I hereby place this golden mantle upon your shoulders. Don it with pride. I'll start. Come, lightning metamorphosis. Gold promotion! She's so excitable. Thank you for today. What's that smell? Did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's a new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious, like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil corporation. A show of support, huh? I could post a photo online of all the fan merch I've amassed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. Bing bong, bing bong. <sighs> Fuck. I swear to God, I'm just going to throw out every persona I have. I don't have enough rank tens. Justine, you have read here. Uh, looking for Arcana twelve, I think. Is this what a fee is Then accept this persona. Are you finished? What? So, spoilers. We're hanging out with Death today. No slacking off. Yo, howdy! Is there something you want? I have to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. I feel like we could come closer. Bond stronger soon. Why don't you tell Takemi about Oyamata? Talk to her. Hold on a sec. Oh, fine. I'll go to you. So wait there. <sighs> so what is you need to talk about? I thought I asked you not to come back here. Oh, doctor, doctor! And you too! Yes. I wanted to speak with you right away. The hospital that was on the news is the same one you used to work at, right? The hospital on the news? Oh dear, I'm afraid everyone was thinking the same thing. 
But I knew you weren't capable of doing those terrible things. What is it? What's going on? Oh my, you really don't know, do you? Chief of Staff Oyamata turned himself in. He was manipulating things behind the scenes. Turns out he was the one who made that terrible medical error and laid the blame on his subordinate. Huh? Is that true? It's been on news channels all over the country. I haven't seen it. I just knew something didn't quite add up about that story. I never believed someone like you could have done, could have ever done something like that. Hooray, doctor! But what's a medical error? What, um, it's something that shouldn't be allowed to happen, I guess. What's the meaning of this? Is this all some elaborate joke? Oyamata surrendering himself at such a convenient time. Why? It doesn't matter. It's too late. It doesn't change the fact that I couldn't save her. Oh, you might have lied to you. What? Neither one of those answers gives you plus points. What? There's no way. Wait. Did the news what? mention anything about the patient involved in the medical error incident? Oh, it must have been difficult for her too. I heard she's moved to another hospital. What's the matter, dear? Are you okay, doctor? I see. So she's... she's alive. Let's get to work, doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Do you have time? You'll help me, right? I take back what I said. We'll resume development right away. Rank 8. We don't get anything, but, you know. All right. We got our doctor friend back. Sorry. We're gonna move quickly today, so you may experience some pain during the examination. Sorry. Just hang in there, okay? It's for Miwa-chan. Thanks. Thank you. You're a good guy. Once the medicine is perfected, I'll interest... <laughs> I don't want to know! <laughs> I'll introduce you to uh, Miwa-chan. And tell, you, uh, tell her how much you helped. Clearly she's just going to take all of my blood out. And replace it with yogurt or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm in danger. Take care. That's all for today. Take care. Oh, hey, ain't changing your condition after that last one? I pushed you way too hard today. Really, I'm sorry. But I won't waste the opportunity you're giving me. We're gonna make up for our lost time. God, what was wrong with me? Can't believe I spent all that time moping, feeling sorry for myself. Miwa-chan was fighting all that time. I have to fight for her too. I'll be cheering you on. Thanks. It's honestly encouraging knowing I've got you supporting me. We're so close to making this drug work. I just have to perfect it. Anyways, get some good rest today. Remember, you can call me anytime. Okay, good night. Ah, uh, you're back. Uh, I was back. Now I'm gone again. Bye. I should just never, never have made any personas to have fun with. No fun allowed. No fun allowed in Persona Land. For we have. Is this you lack patience? Is this what you want? I'm blowing out Lachesis. For one to fight with. If need be. It is time, inmate. Not the inmate. 
I thought we were friends now. One second. All right, sorry, my page was being stupid, so I refreshed it. I've been waiting for you. Can we talk? Uh, of course. Oh, sit down, sit down. I have so much to tell you. I feel like I can become closer and bond stronger and what? hang out. Yes, please sit down. I've been looking forward to seeing you. The chairman turned himself in. It's even shown up on the news. <laughs> We're not even pretending, by the way. I know. I expected nothing less. It all happened so suddenly, too. He confessed all of his crimes. The police came to question me after that, but they ultimately concluded that I'm innocent. Apparently, the chairman took full responsibility for the ADP and admitted he was brainwashing all of its members. Oh, and speaking of members, some of them said they've stopped using the Holy Stones because of my advice. It was all the clients you sat in with. Um... You know, I never saw this as a possible outcome in my readings. Not only have the fates of the ADP members improved, but even my own has begun to shift. It's almost like this curse that's followed me ever since the villagers called me a monster has passed. Uh, it's good. That's some good luck. Yes. Mm hmm. That reminds me. My readings told me I would accomplish my objective with the aid of the trickster. But I'm not really. I'm not sure what exactly that was supposed to mean. It's such a mystery. That aside, the ADP is finished. Nobody else will be deceived. Um. Oh, I just realized something. Remember how I told you. How I told you how the chairman knew I was a runaway? Well, I was wandering around the city with luggage at my side. Anyone could have figured that out, huh? Uh. <laughs> I knew it. I know how fragile I was back then, but it's still embarrassing to think I let myself believe he was a psychic. But I guess some men are good at knowing when a woman, a woman is vulnerable. Are you one of those men? The truth is, there's actually something else beside the chairman that I want to talk to you about. Uh, um... <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> this isn't the correct rank game, what do you mean? <laughs> Are you interested in older women? <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. That's the correct answer, by the way. <laughs> I mean, how interesting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if we have time to waste talking about nonsense like that, we have time to read fortunes, right? Celestial reading triggers a fusion alarm, then raises alarm chance until end of day. All right. Forced fusion alarm, you say? Even though the chairman turned himself in, there are still some things left unresolved. Most importantly, the other members of the ADP are still confused as to, as to what exactly is going on. So, I need to set things straight. This is partially my fault after all, right? The real battle starts now. Oh. It's getting late. I should close up for today. Goodbye. Good night. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Oh, that's new. I'm only a country bumpkin who ran from her hometown. What can I really accomplish? And then I realized something. I could have easily ran away from the chairman, like I did back then. But I didn't. I stood firm. And I think that's thanks to your influence. It was all your own will. Nonsense. I'm not that strong of a person. I only got this far because I had you at my side. In other words, I think this was all part of our fate. I'll do my best to give them hope. The same hope you gave me. I can't turn my back on the ADP members any longer. I hope you'll be, uh, keep watching over me through it all. Until next time.
Oh, book! Book, 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 book. Uh, we're doing tidying the heart this time. Hmm? We're just finishing up books. Hmm. Book, 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 book. <coughs> Damn it. Sorry. Hey there. Oh, it's Maruki. Good morning to you. Hmm. There are a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make this work, uh, the work commute at a different rate time every now and then. Did you ever sleep? Well, of course not. I woke up on time, although I am running late. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies kind of carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. So I was offering to help carry their things, but then my back made this sound that it shouldn't make. No, Maruki. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. I know. Well, anyway, have you heard the news from Yoshizawa-san? I have. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. It makes me feel like doing my best, too. Of course, as I say that, I'm running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then. So let's do our best for today, shall we? You know, all he's told me today is I need to be late for work tomorrow so I can switch it up a little bit. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? <laughs> yeah, it really is a totem pole. It's so colorful, I just love watching people try to eat it. You know those people who can eat it without it falling over? I'd never be able to do that. Mm. Eating a totem pole without it falling over. I wonder why they call it a totem pole. Probably the way it looks. Well, what does it look like? You didn't really think about that, did you? Hmm. Eating it without it falling over. You might be able to improve your f proficiency there. A totem pole at the diner, huh? We should go there at least once and see what it's all about. Maybe. Maybe. We don't need it, but maybe. <laughs> Eating pole proficiency. No. Oh, have you heard? Have you ever thought your phone went off, but nothing actually happened? <sighs> All the time. It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. No, leave me alone. It's fucking phantom vibration syndrome. Go away. Good. The correct English term is Phantom Vibration Syndrome. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society, where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. When I was a oh, Back in my day, when I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Mm. Think I'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds? God, I hope not. I'll pass on that. Thanks. I would be in so much fucking trouble. Hey, promise list step three. You'll help me with this, right? You see, I didn't even think of it that way. I didn't think of hearing what they think of me. I thought of them hearing what I think of them. <laughs> but that's a good point. Great, good answer. Let's have a strategy meeting at LeBlanc. I'll be waiting. Yeah, it'd be real bad either way. Hmm. So the next promise is... Learn about my generation. Wait, I think I can do the next one, too. Have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Hmm, where can I find lots of young people? An arcade! Right, let's go! Well, ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. Wow, you guys have actually started getting pretty close. Not like that's a bad thing, though. Anyway, be careful out there. Mm. So, we've arrived at the diner. I've heard all about the unlimited fountain drinks at these places. 
Well, where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Hi. Oh, it's Mishima. Oh crap, and you're with a girl? Is this a friend of yours? <laughs> Option doesn't matter, so a uh, friend might be a bit much. Oh, that's right. Hmm. How about I ask him to help with my promise? Hmm? What promise? Oh, well... You just want to have a regular old conversation? So wait, you're saying that you, a girl, <sighs> want to talk to me? Yeah. I see. In that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Nope, none whatsoever. I just have to help you out. Really? Ooh, you're so nice. My name's Futaba Sakura, and don't you forget it. Uh, uh okay. I'm Yuki Mishima, but everyone just calls me Mishima. It seems like help always comes my way when I need it most. Maybe my luck stat's really high. I think you're right. Heck yeah. I could probably roll a natural 20 right now if you asked me to. So, you want to learn more about our generation? I doubt it'll be easy to explain. Youth, the unknown frontier. Hmm, maybe I should try <laughs> try talking about my hobbies. Um. Do you like computers? Oh no! <laughs> He's activated her trap card. Yes. Hmm, I'm always online. Me too. What sites do you use? I usually keep the forums myself. Or are you more into streaming? I'd gladly subscribe to your channel. Oh, wait, wait. Do you by chance run one of those racy channels? You'd need to be super courageous to do that. Though it certainly wouldn't be unwelcome. Did he just keck in real life? <laughs> Fucking Futsama, same reaction! Whoa, that's the first time I've heard anyone actually say that out loud. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Huh? That's all you took from that conversation? I see. Ah, I've got it. This overwhelmingly forgettable appearance, generic speech style, and total lack of, lack of sex appeal. Nishima? <laughs> Nishima, are you an NPC? He's the protagonist. Really? Huh, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Do you have a poor attack? <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm glad you spawned here. <laughs> I killed two promises with one Nishima today. Learn about my generation and have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Aw, oh, yeah. I don't know if that was a normal conversation. Hmm. I think I gained a ton of XP <laughs> on this adventure. And it's all because you brought me here. Thanks! I can incense Utaba's innocent joy. <laughs> oh, right. no! So, um... Futaba-chan. It's okay if I call you that, right? I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are you doing after this? Going home. Yes. Oh. Right. All right, let's do it. Come on, we're off. The fucking weirdo. To film one mile. <laughs> God damn it, Anja tried to tactically assassinate me. Ahoy, I did awesome today, huh? I mean, I cleared two goals in one day. That's not all. On my way home, I found a lost thing in the street, so I dropped it off at the police station. I'm a completely different person now. No more getting scared of the police. Come on, tell me I'm cool. You did great. <laughs> Man, I love it when people tell me I did good. Though I... 
basically just left the thing on their doorstep. No way I'm actually talking to anyone in there. But I left a note and stuff, so still. Mission complete, basically. Compared to the police, Nishimo was nothing. He's like the first gym leader. She's not called him by his actual name the entire time. At my current level, I can easily befriend an NPC like Nishima, and... Eh, never mind. Anyway, or anyhow, thanks again for today. Time to make like a tree. I wouldn't want to talk to police either. Honestly, mood. Big mood. Ah, you're back. Things, <laughs> things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It is a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that. Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? It don't make sense. Off to star! And this one gets us... The Mementos request. I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood for a match right now. I can't teach you Shogi right now. Or rather, from now on. I'm at checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. Hifumi seems troubled. With my overflowing knowledge, I might be able to show Hifumi her next move. You need a uh, rank 5 knowledge. Hang out. What? What? You'll help me think? Thank you. Actually, before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. A uh, quick thing, the only option that matters is option 2. Otherwise, say whatever you want. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match against this pro. I don't understand. It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, or women, and as a result, get more female fans. Then when I make my comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. That won't work. I wish I could agree, but... I feel my mother may be right. People do love a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have a great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but... What made me sad was... I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into Shogi. It's and that once I become famous, I can quit Shogi and make money from my looks. Ooh, Christ. The only reason she continues to support my Shogi career is so she can profit off me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, Shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However... Losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden. I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Let's do something about it! <sighs> if only that were possible. She's the only type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity. Through me. I highly doubt she would ever reconsider. What's your mother's name? It's... Mitsuyo Togo. Um. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Everything, little one. Everything. I need to do something about the target for Hufumi. Request received. Upstaging the stage mother. We'll do that eh, later. All right. 
But I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day. They had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It'd spell the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. Aw, oh, man! Leave me alone! Why don't you try? I bet you all think that civil service is all office work. But the fishermen of uh, Nagaragawa are, all, are actually civil servants as well. So tell me, which sector do they belong to? Oh no, I can't look on the internet. I disconnected. Um, Imperial Household Agency? This is it. Very good. <laughs> hey! I totally knew that. Yeah, I didn't just guess my one out of three chance. I mean, <clears throat> oh, I'm impressed you knew that. Only they're cormorant fishermen of Naga. Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency's Board of Ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that in industry even if you wanted to, since it's a hereditary occupation. If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet. Though some may say that's hereditary, too. I mean... Torinosuke could probably get me on. I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Is there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? The Phantom Thieves! Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're the complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval's been going through the roof. For now. Until everything falls apart. Hey. And there's no target memento, so we're gonna go hang out with... Child! I'm here at the arcade. Are you coming here today? You just stop by and teach you some new moves. Off to the kid! Hey! By the way, have you eaten yet? I'm starving. But the hunger doesn't really bother me when I'm playing. Uh... Did something happen? No, not really. Okay, today's training will be a lecture. If you pay for my meal, I'll let you have the course for free. It's not free if I'm paying for your meal! Uh, okay. I get my meal and you get your training, so we're both happy. Now stop wasting time and take me someplace to eat. I'm stuffed. I gotta eat good because I'm fighting a war. A war? Didn't I tell you? I've been having serious battles with kids at school. They attack me in large numbers, so I can't let my guard down. What well. the fuck? All I did today was throw eraser crumbs into my lunch, though, so I won that round. Shouldn't waste food. Tell that to the kids who did it. I'm on the defensive right now, but I'm looking for a chance to counterattack. I could finish them in a second if I put my mind to it. It's just that now's not the right time. Aww. It's kind of annoying having to watch my back all the time, though. Maybe I can ask the Phantom Thieves to take care of them. Oh, uh, there's a crying kid. Your food's here, sweetheart. Well, today you lost. So that just means you'll have to try harder next time. Now eat up and feel better. You're not mad? Of course not. You did your best. And that's all that counts. Now, no more crying. Wrong. What a joke. Once you lose, it's over. That's what my mom told me. My mom's fighting with my school. About how classes are taught, the way teachers treat students, the size of the classes. Hey. Since the divorce, my mom's been taking care of me all by herself. She says it's exhausting. She leaves really early to go to work, and then she comes home really late to take care of me. It's no wonder she demands so much from the school, you know. But all of my classmates make fun of her and call her a complainer. Did I double tap? I did. When I tell them to stop, they call me a mama's boy. 
That's how the war started. My mom gets made fun of because I'm weak. That's why I gotta get stronger. That's the spirit. Thanks. <clears throat> well, the Phantom Thieves would laugh at me if I lost now. But I've got a long way to go. Oh, before I forget, I need to show you something. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? But I'm gonna show you a guaranteed way to win. Damn, I got another new ability. Let's go. Warning shot. Able to scare enemies in negotiation to make it easier to obtain a persona. All right. I wish I could be a member of the Phantom Thieves and help them defeat the bad guys in the world. Oh, it's kind of late. I guess I should go home. Thanks for that boot earlier. I guess that's also kind of training, technically. We just talked a bunch about me today, so you gotta tell me more about the Phantom Thieves next time. Maybe we can go eat something again while we're at it. Sure. Really? Thanks. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I went out to eat with anyone but my mom. Okay, let's go get some hamburger steak next time. It's my favorite food. Come to think of it, my mom hasn't made hamburger steak in a while either. But she seems super busy, so not much I can do, I guess. wonder if she's coming home late again tonight. Okay, bye. I'll see you at the arcade. Poor little guy. He's trying his best. Well, time to go cause trouble. I have an update about the ADP. Can I see you? I want to talk to you, uh, tell you all about it. Well, Chet, it's time to go cause trouble. The thing is... So I got all the members of the ADP together and gave them a big group apology. They didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like the members from the executive class are still brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now, though. We're gonna get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm gonna give- I'm going to give back all the money I made from selling Holy Stones, too. It's the least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this. Think of it not only as an apology, but as a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. Hey, hey, hey! Cash money! Yes! Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Yokota-san, what are you do all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, the chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. N none of it was made up. Um. As for the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promises of a great future, the power of the Holy Stones, the need for donations, all lies. Doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone where those donations were ending up. Mm. It's me. I'm bitches. Even I knew how horrible the ADP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. You. Are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? You really don't understand. Shut your mouth. Please, stop this. It has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be me with me. But, maiden, this can't be happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, maiden, cleanse us of our misery. It's me, I'm Hose. If you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow. But look, the only way you can change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. 
But, but then, how are we supposed to avoid our fated misery? No. A curse is upon us. Maiden, please! Uh. Oh, we... Her country came out. Oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're gonna be miserable or not, so on your own damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to be changing your fate. Y'all got the, that strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even if things are bad now, it'll all be fine so long as you keep up, uh, keep your heads up. Yes. <laughs> I think so. Oh, sorry about all that. All this stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. But I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if you, all you do is rely on others. Take me, for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster. But I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward is through the fort uh, fortitude of your own heart. My heart? It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame for that. I'm here with you. But that's why I need to show you the light now and help you push on. Maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. <laughs> no maidens? I'm just Chihaya Mufune, the fortune teller who guides fate. I wonder if Yakota-san and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They want to cling onto the Holy Stones, just as I clung to my role as the Maiden. All any of us ever wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. Well, fate can be changed. Right, I did it. So I'm sure Yokota-san and the others will be able to as well. I mean, you had a cheat code. No matter how many times I have to try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here, they revered me as the maiden. Even now, my heart continues to wander. Yet you somehow saw the real me. <laughs> Not the maiden. Not a monster. Just Chahaya. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> y'all know what time it is. It's time for me to get in trouble. All right. <laughs> By the way, has anyone told you you're a bit nosy? I mean, normally someone wouldn't think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, so, um... It's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is fortune telling the only reason you came to see me? It's not, is it? I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with several other girls. Um. Like I said, it's me. I'm Hose. Uh, so I can be with you. What? Huh? You're joking, ain't you? I, I mean, of course I like you, too. Hearing you say that was just so gosh dang sudden, though. Sorry, I slipped back into my country dialect. But, um... <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better. The tarot cards might be shocked about this, though. My love fortune has been at zero for ages now. But, I guess we're pretty good at changing your fate, huh? I'm now in a relationship with yet another. There's no turning back now. Oh, it's getting late. Just a little but, um, longer. do you think we can maybe talk a little longer? Good night. I'm totally getting killed. Will not survive. It won't be the shadows that do me in. I'm sorry for calling you again, even though we only just parted ways. The thing is, well, um, I... Well, I really wanted to hear your voice, and, um... I mean, just kidding, I got you! <laughs> I wanted to hear your voice, too. Well, well, same here, but you probably figured that out... That uh, Figured that already. Yeah, she's a little nuts. I mean, what with the declaring love and everything. 
Oh my gosh, again with the accent. If I listen to you any longer, I think my heart's gonna burst. But I should probably get used to that, right? I mean, I'm supposed to be the older one here. And I'd like to say, stay with you longer the, the next time we hang out, so... That's all I wanted to say. Okay, good night. We're gonna get fucking murdered. And it's gonna be funny. Morning. She's been intense the whole time, though. This is nothing new. Hey, are you keeping up with the comments online? There's a lot of hate for Okuma and a lot of expectations for us. I hope Haru's dad has a change of heart soon. All we can do is wait. We got 16 days or no so. Way, man. Yeah, you got a point. But I'm positive this will make a bigger impact than before. As usual, it'll be a while before we see some results. But man, I am so looking forward to this. Is starting. Hey, hey, we get free time, boys. Get out of here. We're gonna read a book. We're gonna read Heroic Revelations. We've read it before, so I'm allowed to skip it. Huzzah. Hey. Uh, we don't have a target in Mementos. We have a target at the school named Maruki, and we're gonna go talk to him. Oh, Marky! Hey, good work today. Oh, we already did this already. Oh, thanks for helping the other day. You really opened my eyes. You think I can ask some more of your time? I think there's more I can learn from you. Hmm. Help him out. Okay. Thanks. thanks. I've got so much I want to talk to you about. Come on. Or come now. In you go. Well, shall we begin? Let's get started. For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these phantom thieves of hearts. The ones who steal the desires of criminals and reportedly force them to confess. I guess it's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken an academic interest in them. You really are dedicated. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just a gut feeling I have. But I get the feeling the phantom thieves work in my own research are rooted in the same principles. That's why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspective. For example, there's the matter of their methods. According to those calling cards they send out, they state their stated method is to steal your desires. How is such a feat even possible? Any ideas? As in, removing them? Hmm, removing them, as if they're something material rather than abstract. So they'd be stealing desires by taking some tangible form of them. Well, in that case, I suppose it'd be possible if you could find some physical proxy for human desires. Say, do you remember that story with the cookies? In the experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people tasted them. One sec. <clears throat> Sorry. I think we can look at this in the same way. Not something easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. Put another way, if that desire is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookie skews back to normal. So, does that remind you of anything? The change of heart? Right. That's right. The Phantom Thieves' own change of heart. That's the basis of my theory. Their theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. We still don't ex know exactly how they steal these desires, of course. But if this idea of physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it logically follow that they can be taken away. In a world of intangibles, let's say a world composed of the contents of people's hearts. Well, they're thieves, so if they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Hey, you think I'm getting anywhere here? Ah, it's intriguing. How fucking spot on you are. You think so too. If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it'd be incredible. Then again, we'll probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the Phantom Thieves themselves. <laughs> hmm. I think I can construct a solid hypothesis now. Feels like I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank you. 
Rank seven. Flow boost. Raise the chances of flow succeeding. All right. Now, today's mental training technique. How about something like this? Thanks to Maruki's mental right. training, I got five SP. Oh, and here, never bad time for a snack, right? I'm glad these things don't go bad, because well, all of his snacks are rotting in my pocket right now. Those are all those Big Bang Burgers I have. In case you would like to stay apprised of the situation, little has changed with my father so far. I appreciate the consideration. I've yet to truly speak with him, though. As I've said before, this is just what happened to Matarame. There's no need to worry. Still, I'm sorry. I know you're all waiting to hear about the mental shutdown culprit. Father is physically weak, so it may take some time. No need to get hasty. He's right, he'll definitely have a change of heart. In that case, ain't it time to be talking about our next celebration party? Too soon, too stupid. What? We can talk about that some other time. For now, let's wait patiently. Yes, I'll contact everyone if anything comes up. Well, well, well. It's time to go get in trouble again, chat. I do come here a lot. Hey! So, you came. Phantom Thief- Uh, so you came, Phantom Thieves Believer. I don't know what's next now that that Majed case is over. But how the heck would you know, right? Right? I gotta talk to you about Kaio's case. It's important. Do you have a minute? Thanks. Stop standing and sit down. She knows. Hey. I went to see Kyle the other day. She's gotten so skinny. She looked almost like a stranger. She wouldn't say anything either. I think she had a mental shutdown, is it called? This one doesn't matter. Did you learn? No. Are you okay? Yeah, I was expecting it to be bad, but it was still pretty jarring to see her in person. Her doctor said they found her collapsed in the street just about a year ago now. She had been wandering around the, along the coast without any belongings, so the director's wife took her in. Is there any hope of recovery? All we can do is pray. Either way, Kaio is still a suspect, so bringing her back here would just put her in danger again. So we'll never know what happened with that bureaucrat. Not necessarily. I have her hair clipped. It looks like an ordinary accessory, but it actually has a miniature camera built inside. <clears throat> Remember that voicemail where she said she had something big? What was all in the hair clip? So then... It was a picture of the bureaucrat's secret meeting. The other party must be the one behind the slush fund. And that other party... It was one of Shido's confidants. Shido? You mean the politician? I can't believe someone close to him would be so horrible. Yep, it's pretty clear that Confidant was blackmailing the bureaucrat and killed him for not paying up. Kayo must have managed to escape, but then ended up suffering a mental shutdown somehow. Not sure what could possibly cause something like that, though. In any case, maybe that's why they decided to leave her alive. Heh, <laughs> they underestimated her journalistic talent. That's an amazing story. It'll be a huge scoop if you're right. Given the current situation, it's going to be difficult to write an article about it. I wouldn't have Kaio's testimony, and even if I did, I wouldn't be able to cor uh, corroborate her story. I'd get crushed if I tried to take them on without being fully prepared. Mm, you're not giving up, are you? Who do you think I am? I'm going to do whatever it takes to pursue the truth. I said I need to be fully prepared, didn't I? It'll just take a while. So then... I resigned myself to a long battle anyway. I have her photo. Now I gotta get some solid evidence and lay the groundwork to prove her innocence.
I'm going to avenge Kaya. Well then, our deal's over. It'll be too dangerous for you to stick around from here onward. You understand, right? The opposition won't think twice about taking down anyone in their way. I'm sure I'll get targeted, so to be safe, you shouldn't come here again. I want to help! They can't make me have a mental shutdown anyway. Are you serious? You must have nerves of steel. Jeez. You're really never- you're never- ah, fuck! You're really never honest with yourself, Ichiko-chan. You're not gonna find anyone else who listens to you as encouragingly as this guy. You know that, right? It's gonna be a long battle against a tough enemy. You should have him by your side through it. What? But wait, it's not like that. Uh-huh, sure. What about you, kid? You're not afraid to face the danger ahead, are you? Of course not. Fine. If you're sticking your nose in this on your own free will, then there's nothing I can do. I'll solve this case on my own. But I appreciate having a friend who's got my back. <laughs> Alright, let's have a kickoff party. We're gonna break out the champagne tonight. It'll have to be the cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. This place isn't classy enough to carry brand names. Oh, and I'll grab a new long tea for the kid. Man, lamest kickoff party ever. I guess the booze doesn't matter, though. It's all about the company. Rank up! Boop! Rank nine. All right. Also, it's time to get in trouble. I'll go chill a bottle. Be back in a bit. Hey, so, why do you do so much for me? I know at first it was for the articles, but you don't have any obligation to stay now, you know. Oh, I know. Did you take me seriously when I told the chief we were a couple? Jeez, you kids today are so naive. <clears throat> I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in several relationships. That couple act. I took it seriously. But then, wait, you really thought we were dating? What? What the hell? I mean, um, seriously? I know, right? Like I said, it's me. I'm Hose. Oh my god. You hit her with the L word already. No. No. That's the correct answer, by the way, if you want this, because the other one's just kidding. Uh, y you shouldn't be so straightforward, but I, um, yeah, right? Now we're going all in. What I'm trying to say is, I think the feelings are mutual. Uh. Hold on, you seem to drop that line pretty easily, didn't you? If you're this smooth now, who knows how big of a player you're gonna be when you get a little older. <laughs> She does she in chat, she doesn't need to know. <laughs> chat, don't tell her. She doesn't need to know. <laughs> You're gonna dump me, huh? Just kidding. I'd understand if you decided to dump me someday, though. I mean, you have a bright future ahead of you, so I'd probably just be holding you back. But I guess I can stick around until then. She really has, like... I don't know. Can't wait to see where our relationship goes. Let's keep this a secret from Lala-chan. God, I can already hear her teasing me about it. And stop looking at me like that! I'm so embarrassed. Well then. Good night. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this shit. Ah, I can't spell! Oh, that's not as bad. That's not that's not so bad. Mid twenties, that's not that bad. It could be a lot worse. I uh we should talk. I mean, you know, discuss. Um, sorry. Never had a high schooler boyfriend before. Not sure how I'm supposed to act now. Look, the point is I uh crap, I forget. Yeesh, am I that old now? 
Honestly, me too. Actually, do you have something you want to say to me instead? Because now's the time. <laughs> Alright, I hate that bottom one. <laughs> Answer's A. But I hate the bottom one. <laughs> that bottom one hurts me. What the? You are way too smooth for a high schooler. Ex same! Where's this coming from? That's the type of line that seals the deal at nightclubs. God, you are going to be an absolute menace in a few years. <laughs> but there are worse things than looking after a guy like that. Kind of a thrill, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure who the biggest issue is in this one, me or her. Feeling so weird today. Sorry, let me get myself together. Is she drunk again? Okay, I'll see you again at Lalachan's spot. Good night, my well-informed boyfriend. Oh, it's October now, boys! What do you think will happen to Okumura Foods? Shucks. Well, even if the CEO has a change of heart, the company's image is still in ruins. I imagine their stocks plummeted. You think Okumura really exploited his employees? Every little rumor goes viral these days. What if it was all just a lie? If so, the real victims here are the employees themselves. Nah, the rumors about Okumura Foods are well known in the industry. You're overthinking it. Hey, did you hear? The sports meet went pretty great. The way they out overcame all the odds and made it to the victory stand? It was like something out of a movie. Yeah, they put on a they all ah, They put on a stellar performance this time. They must have been training really hard. It's nice to see more people with smiles on their faces now. Wait, you actually went to watch? Seriously? I'll get what you mean though. Maybe I'll go and cheer for them too. Bing bong, bing bong. All right, all right, all right. We're going to go a wee bit over today. What would you like? We need those for something later. All right, we are going up here and we're going to buy a thingy. Take your time. We want... I'm stupid, I already bought that. I'm fucking stupid, let's go. <clears throat> Alright, in the meantime. What shall we do? Yes, hello, uh, girlfriend. I need you to help me get closer with some other woman. Here we go. Why, thank you. What do you think? We're definitely getting murdered. Time to go hang out with the kid again. Hey, how 
the Phantom Thieves doing? Sounds like they had another, uh, like they had another success, huh? That's cool. The war is still going on. It's probably because they think I'm weak. If only I was as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Hey kid, you may be small, but you played a great game. What? So being big is better? <laughs> My bad, I didn't mean it like that. I just thought we should be friends since we're both gamers. The name's uh, Takakuma. I make a living from gaming, more or less. Ever heard of me? Huh? Takakuma, the pro gamer? Yeah, you're the guy from all those videos online. And you're the one they call the king, right? I've always wanted to play you. But, I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, if I beat you, your rank will definitely drop. And I don't need people bashing me for bullying a kid. You bastard! You just called me weak! That's it, we're playing. I won't lose. As expected of the king. Okay, let's get this started. Why is my man, like, doing a JoJo pose? I'm gonna win. I have to. No way. How? The king is getting destroyed. It's Takakuma, isn't it? He's awesome. Huh? I missed? The king lost? Oh, that wasn't a question. But that doesn't count. Let's play again. You got it! Wow, that's ten losses in a row. King got slaughtered! <laughs> that's hilarious! Ugh. One more. One more game. How many times we play, the end result will be the same. We should probably stop. For your sake. Shut up! You, bastard. you cheated, didn't you? He is being a sore loser, but yeah, you tell him! Right? There's no way I could have lost. Man, I guess the king is just a little kid after all. Looks like I overestimated your ability. I'd feel bad beating you again, so I'm gonna go. Make sure you practice for the next time we play. Damn it. You've gotta be kidding me. Get your revenge! I will. I'm the one who's going to win in the end. If I lose, it's all over for me. I'm going to beat him next time for sure. This isn't over. The strongest always win in the end. Just like the Phantom Thieves. Watch. I'll win for sure next time. I'm not a loser. You'll see. And we didn't learn anything. He just got toasted by a pro gamer. Crap, it's late. I gotta go. What? Hey, that Takakuma, though, telling me to practice for next time. A grown-up shouldn't spend so much time playing video games. <laughs> My guy, he literally gets paid for it. What do you mean? Bye. Today tired me out. I'll see you later. Little buddy got fucking toasted. All right, later. Do I have a speed speed run? Speed run. Got a question. You're free tonight? There's something I need to ask of you. Did it say butt? Yep, it said butt. That means it's flag. No one has a secret they don't want anyone to know. Blah, blah, blah. I want to work. In that case, I got a big favor to ask you. I want to settle things with Suda. Will you come with me as a witness? I'll do my best to protect you, but... I can't guarantee your safety. You can say no. Let's say I feel like I can follow him anywhere. Yep. Uh, you had to be Guts Rank 5 for this. Is that right? I appreciate it. It's gonna be under the girder bridge. It's close by. So follow me. So, you know everything? Wait, that's the brat from your shop, isn't it? I should have known he was working for you. Hey. He's here as my witness today. Now listen. I'd be glad to keep my mouth shut about your failed deal, if you stay away from my family. That includes me, 
Kauru, and this kid here. Hmm. So you're still sticking to the code, even in retirement. Yeah. Rules ain't meant to be broken. Heh. You're as sharp as ever, Mune. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch in your absence. I bet we never would have gotten duped by those Hong Kong mother... <laughs> Damn. Motherfuckers, if I still had you as my right-hand man. Instead, I'm stuck of dealing with the mess that idiot Masa made for me. Hey kid, sorry for getting a respectable teen like yourself wrapped up in our bullshit feud. Hope dealing with all this Yakuza business hasn't been too much trouble. Eh, I did it for EY. I did it all for EY. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Yo. Suda-san, I gotta be honest with you. This whole thing has been a real goddamn pain in the ass. But it's over. You're finished. I don't think you understand, Mune. That's a gun! What? You're not the one who gets to make decisions around here. <sighs> the hell are you doing? I'm done playing nice with you. You're gonna make me what I need one way or another. And if you can't do it fast, both your son and this little witness of yours are gonna pay for it. What'd you say? Christ, Suda. You're not some random thug off the street. You're supposed to be better than this. Times have changed, Mune. You're hung up on bullshit like pride and duty, but you know what? Nobody gives a fuck about your goddamn code of honor anymore. <clears throat> you bastard. Now you listen to me, you little piece of shit. You're gonna make me those guns, and you're gonna do it fast. Don't make me tell you again. Shit. I'm such a freaking idiot. That guy ain't the Suda I know. Based on what just happened here, I'm done for the second I give him the guns he's looking for. God damn it. Look, kid, you should probably go. I don't got any more tasks for you. Just forget all of this. I want to help you. I appreciate the offer. I really do. I just... I can't let you do that. Alright. I'm gonna make those guns for him. I gotta do what I can to protect Kauru. Even if it means helping out that psych... If it means helping out that psychopath, so be it. Seems like EY has been painted into a corner. He might end up dead if I don't do something about Suda soon. Suda. What did he turn into such a heartless bastard? Uh, what's his name? Why do you... Actually, it's probably best that you know. It's Akamitsu Suda. He was famous around here for being an incredible martial artist back in the day. If you see him around town, run. Go to the police if you have to. They'll probably keep you... They'll keep you safe so long as you tell them who's after you. Anyway, we're done here. Thanks for all uh, thanks for all you've given me. Later. And take care of yourself, kid. <sighs> I need to help Eli get out of this terrible situation. Shady deal in the shadows. It is Sunday, so no school. Well, then. Oh. Same thing as yesterday, please. What shall we do? Exact same thing as yesterday, please. My poor wallet. Here we go. She specifically said, I bet you can deepen your friendship even further now. What do you think? That's what I get for not paying attention. Oh well. Do I have a I don't have the one I want though. Alright, time to go get a voiced one. And then we can get rid of the priestess one. Uh, well. All we can do now is wait. Uh, do you have time right now? There's something I'd like to speak with you about. Time to go get rank 10, boys! Uh, um, Thank goodness. In that case, um, how about your place? So, I finally made up with Aiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart. 
And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. Mm, that's incredible. Yeah. I'm relieved she didn't get caught in his web. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Aiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. Are you stressing over exams? No, that's not it. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. Before now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. Sounds difficult. You're right. I will need an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. Your father would be proud. I hope so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Thank you for all your help. It must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Just kidding. Even so... I'm glad I asked you. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Actually, I'm sure I can. This is where it differentiates I have between you. friendship and romance. Well, I am after thou, this. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it. I'm just the best. Motorcycle leveled up, and now it stands up. It's a transformer. I can sense it. The power within me has grown. No, it's been born anew. Autobots roll out. All right. Johanna has transformed into a nut. By the way, you can rely on me for anything you need. I want us to be equals. <laughs> God damn it, no. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> what a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. Just be careful, okay? I will. The objective is the same after all. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. S so you see, uh, um. <laughs> well, I was thinking, maybe we could study some things we don't have. Chat, to turn around! You can't, you can't see this. Okay. <laughs> you have to close your eyes, Anja. 
You're too young. <laughs> Autobots uh, roll out. You're back. Well then. Get this thing out of my inventory. We're gonna go talk to the mask man again. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He'll take a con card postcard for two strawberry daifuku. And then we're gonna go read a book. After I go check the, the uh, fridge. Now, Kami's gonna go make curry. We're gonna finish that book. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Blah, blah, blah. Get out of here. Give me the curry. Get out of my house. repeat that now nothing's been decided as of yet but at the rate that things are going Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked something so serious should of course be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maru, That's weird. Please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. That's even more weird. It was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless... Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Uh, excuse me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? She dropped something. Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. That's her charm. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. Okay. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. <laughs> no. Maybe I left it. In no, here. Jason, not to pink eye. 
She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Ah, uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. That's kind of fucked. So, uh, pardon me, but there's no denying. First was Mr. Kamoshida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. <clears throat> Poor Kasumi. I just cannot understand. To be honest, uh, honest, honest. I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social reform. Don't give me this Phantom Thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okumura Foods? They're criminals. That artificially consummate flavor. Enough volume to smell a fall, uh, small universe. Are the Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy of junk food from me? Ah, that's the issue. Perhaps you think you understand how vast the universe is. Full of countless galaxies. But consider this. If we use three watermelons in the sun to visualize a certain matter's size against the universe, what are the melons? Uh, stars. This is it. <laughs> That's it. I expected as much from you. It's meant to convey the density of stars and the vastness of space. Three bees in the whole of Europe also works. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even within our own galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, despite the sheer volume of them visible. No I'm smart. And Jason's being given pink, pink eye again, but I'm smart. Close, but yet far. <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. <sighs> if only he knew the places we've been. What is your phone? Ah, uh, what is your phone? Throw it in the toilet so it works better. She's at the stadium? I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Her poor phone. I'm worried about her phone. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh... I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? God, you uncultured. Oh. 
solution. This atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait. Do you think it was Yoshizawa? <sighs> I forgot. That's very likely. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. Fast. I want my King Frost. First, we need a way into that huge thing. Let's go. The area heading down past these gates seems suspicious to me. Let's go, Joker. Entryway to question mark. I love this place. I don't think Yoshizawa is here. Can we get any further in? Mm. That door might be our only option. Let's go check it out. Birds. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I need a sec. All these posters are on cognitive science. I wonder. Happiness, cognitive science. Can we go up this way? We can. Who there? Was that Yoshizawa? Let's move. Stay on guard, though. Oh, never mind. I do still have King Frost. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy again. Sorry, chat. I was upset for no reason. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I... It's my fault. What? Come on. You must... Kasumi. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> you must... She's always in trouble. Heresy. You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy. Are you all right? 
right, Yoshizawa? That voice... Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting it perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting a special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned it? I understand how you feel, but, well, her place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worth. Not only have we lost one, but the other one is not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? Oh? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. Will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream. <laughs> it's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure, demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <coughs> Rather than accept a life from cinders, you'd strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Hello. If those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... What is this Sailor Moon bullshit? I forgot how Sailor Moon that was. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion. We'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do. Say hello to Biaki. He is weak to ice and bless. Thankfully, we were just given someone with bless. Right? This is why I said I wish I had King Frost. The number he's about to drop on this guy's head's not going to be very cute. I love King Frost. He's amazing. Hey, are you all right? I can't be weak anymore.
Whoa, I'm quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? Uh, yep. I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? It's a long story. Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. <clears throat> we should leave, though. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here quick. We can explain later. Right. Oh, we're back at... Yep. Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. Yep. This was your location before you entered the metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Place your best. Does she freak out about the cat talking first, or does she freak out about the metaverse first? Time's up. Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Let's tell her. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. You're just okay talking to a cat? Hello? Hello? A metaverse with palaces and personas. And talking cats? I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally, I wouldn't believe any of that, but... After seeing it all for myself. Talk, talking cat? Wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. H I'll let that last part slide this time. Hello? But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Talking cat? Huh? A cat's talking? There it is! It took you long enough, and I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, Maybe I should call you Morgana Senpai. No. Oh, that's right. No. But don't you Do have not. Before? Do not call him that. You dropped this earlier. You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well. We just heard it. What do you mean? I didn't have a chance to tell you yet, but I got third place in the last meet. Of course, I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honor status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so I have to say it's not an unfair consequence. But I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. Tell him he's a useless and waste I of oxygen. I Maruki into this mess too. Since he was with me when I got the news, that's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden, I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? Sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. Her broken ass smartphone? What about my phone? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? Maybe we can if fix it. Tabs on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right. Sorry, this won't do any good. It's broken. What's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. There it is. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? I knew it. Wait. That means when we were at the cafe with the Ketchy-san, I basically...
practically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Yep. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? We kill her. That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? She joins or she dies. You mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. She's been hazed enough today, honestly. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Then perish. Cool. So we'll head home for now and wait. What? When I awakened to my uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. That's like you. Thank you. But I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana Senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, Senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today. But I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. Mm. I didn't expect even Yoshizawa to gain a persona. We ended up saving her, but I don't think she owes us or anything. I mean... That said, she'd definitely be a huge help if she joined us. Yeah, she can use Bless! Let's do it. It would put half my personas to waste, but, you know. But, with that, everybody, we are going to call it there for tonight. With our 67 and a half hours played. I hope y'all had a good time. And if you did, maybe go ahead and drop a follow if you, uh, if you haven't already. If you do drop a follow, go ahead and hit the bell so you get alerted when we go live. Also, maybe go follow me on Twitter and hit the bell over there. You'll also get alerted when we go live because we tweet it out. We stream 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. If you're not sure what that translates to in your time zone, you can find out down below with the Streamlabs schedule countdown thing. And with that, once again, I hope you had a good time, and I will see you all next time. Later!